The PSVR 2 is coming to PC very soon with an adapter that they are releasing. So today we're going to be looking at PCs that meet the PSVR 2 recommended spec or exceed them for the cheapest price possible. PSVR 2 users will be able to play PC VR games on a PC using their PSVR 2 headset, which I think is really cool because just more access to more different games is always good. So today I have a bunch of PCs that I'm going to recommend to you both in the UK and in the US. Hopefully some of the UK PCs will ship to Europe as well, but the US I know is a bit different. So I've done the US as their own section of PCs. We're going to use the uh, info that is here on PlayStation blog. PlayStation VR 2 players can access games on PC with adapters starting on August 7th. If we scroll down has a minimum PC requirements for PSVR 2 on PC. So you need uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, that's pretty standard. An Intel Core i5-7600 or an AMD Ryzen 3 3100. 8 gig of RAM or more. Uh, GPU-wise, uh, they say 1650 or later. Uh, RTX series graphics card or a Radeon 5500 XT or later or a 6500 XT or later. Best performance, we recommend they use an NVIDIA RTX 3060. Okay, so they have kind of a recommended in there, but there also is a minimum and then it's on about display ports usb and bluetooth are also necessary using those specs which are listed here on playstation blog we are going to take a look at some pcs that i have handpicked to meet these requirements or exceed them the i5 7600 cpu is actually a little bit old quite a bit old now the likelihood is you're not going to get a new pc with that in it so to start off with we are going with the cyber power pc a regiment gaming pc with an i3 10 f uh, a gtx 1650 8 gig of ram 500 gig ssd 450 watt power supply wi-fi uh, windows 11. this is like the lowest spec that i'm going with obviously the next couple pcs i have will be slowly increasing in price and therefore performance and the parts that they're using it has got a an i3 10 f which will exceed the the intel cpu that it's asking for it has the 1650 which it mentions is the minimum and it has the 8 gig ram which again it says is the minimum now this is 442 pound 80 at the time of recording not a bad pc by any means it is uh, capable of gaming and uh, according to the minimum spec uh listed for the psvr2 it is going to be capable of doing that uh, now, another thing I should mention that some of these PCs don't mention whether they have Bluetooth. If it doesn't have Bluetooth, uh, I would recommend picking up something like this, like a little dongle that you can attach. Now, this is just like a cheap one that's from Ugreen, which is a brand that I've used for multiple PC things, parts in the past uh, that I trust. But obviously, if you wanted to go out and get a slightly different one, just make sure that the Bluetooth is over Bluetooth 4 or later, it says for the PSVR 2. So this one here I have is Bluetooth 5.3, but it says it's backwards compatible to Bluetooth 4. But I'm sure you can get internal cards if you wanted to do that. But these USB cards are just super simple to use. On to PC number two now. We have the ADMI Gaming PC or ADMI. I like to call them ADMI Gaming PC. Ryzen 5 5500 with a RTX 3050, 16 gig of RAM, terabyte SSD. Windows 11 Wi-Fi. So we're stepping this up a notch. We are getting an RTX graphics card with the RTX 3050. Uh, we're moving over to the AMD for CPU with the AMD Ryzen 5 5500. We're doubling the RAM. I like to think 16 gig of RAM is kind of the minimum that you want to aim at, especially nowadays as time progresses. It used to be 8 gig was like the minimum. It is technically still the minimum, but I would recommend 16. And honestly, that is it's it's a big upgrade for not a lot of money. It's not going to cost you a lot of extra to get the uh, 16 gig of RAM over 8 gig especially if you're building a PC, you should aim for buying 16 gig of RAM. It's really not going to cost you that much more than eight. Uh, this PC is £549.95. So basically, basically £550. I think this is a really solid bet. Honestly, for £550, uh, I think that's a pretty solid PC. That's, that's a good performing PC that's going to be good at general, normal, everyday screen gaming. But it is definitely also VR capable. This is something that I would have recommended for other VR headsets, PC VR headsets in the past as well. And the final PC I have here to recommend for the UK is the ADMI Admi Gaming PC, Ryzen 5500 like we just had, but it's got an RTX 4060. Still got 16 gig of RAM, still got a terabyte uh, NVMe SSD. So very much the same as the last PC in terms of its spec, apart from we're upgrading the graphics card from a 3050 to a 4060, which is definitely better than what they're recommending as the recommended for best performance uh, graphics card, which was a 3060. This is the 4060. So again, we're taking a step up with that. And again, for the price, 629.99, £630. I think this is pretty decent. I'd be happy with this PC. It looks pretty solid to me. I would happily use this as my daily driver PC for gaming. I think this is a solid deal. 
those are all the UK PCs. Like I said, they don't specifically mention sometimes whether they come with Bluetooth uh, enabled. I guess it depends on the motherboard specifically. So yeah, maybe look at getting yourself a USB dongle or a USB card. Just make sure it's over Bluetooth 4 because that is what PSVR 2 is saying is the minimum that it needs. Now we're moving on to the US PCs that I have selected. We're starting with the Skytech Gaming Kronos Mini Gaming PC. It's got the i3-10100F, a 1650, a 500 gig SSD, a 16 gig of DDR4 RAM, a 600 watt power supply and Windows 10. So this is very similar to the first PC I recommended for the UK. Uh, we're looking at the i3-10100F, which having had a look and done some research more than meets the minimum of the i5-7600, I believe it was, that the PSVR was looking for. Uh, 1650, again, it's the minimum graphics card they're asking for. Uh, and we've actually got 16 gig of RAM rather than 8 gig of RAM, which is the minimum they're looking for. So all in all, uh, meets the minimum spec that we're looking at. And this is currently at a time of recording 19% off and it is $549.99, so $550 near as damn it again like i said for the uk if you skipped ahead and you didn't watch the uk bit some of these pcs don't specify whether they have bluetooth so i feel like it's safe to assume that maybe they don't have built-in bluetooth in which case you probably want to look at getting something like this a bluetooth adapter whether it's a usb one this one here or whether it's uh, an internal card that you add just make sure that it is over bluetooth 4 because that is the minimum that PSVR2 says is necessary. Uh, this one here is from Ugreen, a brand that I trust and I've used in the past for a bunch of little PC related gadgets and accessories and stuff. Uh, and this is Bluetooth 5.4. So easy to add as well. It's just a USB dongle. So that's a way around getting uh, Bluetooth to your PC if the PC you choose to buy doesn't in fact have Bluetooth. A bunch of these, like I said, don't specify it, which means to me, air on the side of it probably doesn't have Bluetooth. But again, if you're able to pick up one of these, it's not too much money to just add this after the fact. On to the next USB PC, we have the Lenovo Idea Center 5i gaming desktop PC. Uh, so this has an i5-12400, it has the RTX 3050, 16 gig of RAM, has a 512 SSD and a terabyte hard drive. Now this one does specify Bluetooth, so this one we know has Bluetooth because it says it has Bluetooth. Again, we're taking a step up with the CPU, we're moving from the i3 to an i5 and a, and a newer i5 at that, which again is more than meets the minimum spec that PSVR 2 is asking for. Uh, we're moving up to the RTX 3050 graphics card, which still isn't quite at the level that they're saying is the best performance they're recommending a 3060 but it is higher than the minimum they're saying which is the 1650 uh we're getting 16 gig of ram again which is more than the minimum is saying uh, and this pc is costing 699 so basically 700 dollars but a dollar off a dollar off 700 dollars it's 699 this looks like a, a solid pc it's from lenovo it's a brand that you've heard of when i do these pc recommendations i do always check to make sure that the the brand i'm kind of recommending has at least decent reviews here on Amazon and something I'm happy to recommend to you. But obviously Lenovo is a worldwide brand that we've all heard of. So I think, again, a solid choice for a PC that meets the minimum spec. Moving on to the next PC we have here is an AVG PC. It has a Ryzen 5 5600G. It has 16 gig of RAM, RTX 4060 and a terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, again, it's not mentioning anywhere that I'm looking or anywhere that I remember seeing that it has Bluetooth. So that's kind of an unknown, but we're moving over from the Intel to the AMD side of things with the CPU, the Ryzen 5 5600G, again, more than necessary for what PSVR 2 is asking for. The RTX 4060, again, this is more than is necessary. It's saying minimum is 1650. It does state that the like best performance, it recommends a 3060. So a 4060 is newer than that. So that is going to be better performing than the 3060. Uh, and again, we've got the 16 gig of RAM like we had last time. So again, uh, a decent all round, pretty nice looking PC that's more than going to meet the necessary specs to be able to play VR, specifically PS2 VR, PSVR 2. Sometimes I say PS2 VR, and I know that's wrong because PS2 definitely didn't have VR, but PSVR 2 and PS2 VR get confused in my brain a little bit. So if I did make a mistake, you know what I meant. And onto the last PC we have here for the US is the Viper Tech Rebel 4.0 gaming PC. This has a Ryzen 7. Oh, it says Ryzen 7 2700. I see it lower. It has the RTX 4060, has 32 gig of RAM with this one and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Did I even mention the price of the last one? It's $879. I don't even know if I said it. It's $879. So this one is kind of like a, a bit of a, it's not really an upgrade. It's an alternative to the AVG PC because it is basically the same price. It's 875 rather than 879. So it's actually like $4 cheaper, but it has a slightly older 
Ryzen CPU, but still one that meets the requirements, but it does have 32 gig of RAM rather than 16, and it still has the 4060. So if you're wanting more RAM, I'd go for this one. Personally, it's really quite close. It's up to you. I mean, RAM is not that expensive and you can always add more RAM to the last PC down the line. Still, I think this is a solid deal. Pretty reasonable price for the PC you're getting and is it's going to more than meet the requirements that PSVR 2 is asking for. And this one is, like I said, $875. All the links to every PC I mentioned will be down in the description as well as links to the Bluetooth adapters if you want to check out the specific ones I mentioned. But like I said, uh, a decent Bluetooth adapter is not super hard to find. And as long as it's Bluetooth 4.0 or later, you should be good. Those are my PC recommendations for PSVR 2 capable PCs. I don't know how many people are going to be going out to buy a PC specifically for PSVR 2, but I imagine if you already had a PSVR 2 and you're looking to get into some PC gaming, you're going to buy uh, the new PC adapter to be able to use your PSVR 2 on PC, then maybe you'd be looking for something like this video, which I hope has been helpful and I hope has given you some options in terms of PC. If you have a specific budget you're working for or something specific you're looking for, I'm always happy to help. So please do leave me a comment or drop me a message on Twitter or somewhere that you can get hold of me. I'm always happy to help and recommend you a specific PC for your budget or for your needs or anything like that. It doesn't have to be VR related. It can be game related, it can be stream related. Whatever you're looking for, always happy to help out and look for a PC that meets your requirements. Hope you guys found this useful. I would love to be able to take a look at PSVR 2 on PC. I, I'm not going to buy one because that seems like a, kind of a lot of money to spend on just me looking at something. But if there's anyone out there that wants to sponsor a video, a company maybe that wants to sponsor it and let me take a look at PSVR 2, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe in future I'll get a chance to have a play with it and look at it. I'd love to make a video on that, but... Hope this has been useful to you guys. Hope you found this interesting. Hope you found this useful. Any questions, please do let me know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.